Good morning, folks. We've got a solar flare and CME to diagnose. We've got really fun stories and a couple that hit hard in science as well. But first, hopefully we noticed the solar eruption. We'll watch that four times here. First in 193 angstroms of ionized iron, then 171, still iron, seeing the resulting magnetic field plasma repopulation. Still iron in 211 angstroms to see the breadth of the coronal blast, and ionized helium to see the central filament release from the core of the active region. Folks, NOAA's endless spiral shows a glancing blow, and that's better than NASA's, which shows no impact at all. And as we come to the coronagraphs repeating, we want to notice two things. The filament is the brighter bulb heading southward, but there's also a faint halo erupted at the same time, a fainter circle of plasma rippling out in pretty much all directions while the brighter bulb comes out around 4 or 5 o'clock. The main core of the CME will miss Earth, but the sparse halo will impact on the 28th or 29th. Won't be too scary, but it will be coupling on the heels of the coronal hole stream. We are looking at the weekend and start to next week for inclement geomagnetic conditions, which are currently very quiet. As you can see, the solar wind is calm and calming further into a slower plasma stream. Up first in the articles, get this, in a couple days these scientists think there's going to be a surprise meteor shower. No, it's not going to be bombarding the ground, and it's possible human eyes might struggle to detect it, but they do think we're going to go through a cloud of millimeter-sized grains from a comet outburst in the 90s. Nothing scary, possible show in the skies, guess we'll be watching. Up next, they just found a ridiculous bit of past civilization in the Amazon. 90-foot tall earthen pyramids, kilometers of roadways, totally hidden beneath the foliage. But two things caught my eye above the others. First, they say that evidence suggests a climate event made this region habitable and attractive to them, which is why they suddenly appeared 1,500 years ago after really no signs of civilization in the area except hunter-gatherers. Folks, that was the last dansgaard Oshkar event in Super Flare with the same tropical hydroclimate effects we saw with the NOAA event in the greenest of the green Sahara. Speaking of those geomagnetic events that are hard to see, we've got a paleomagnetic scientist here complaining about a different paper, suggesting that the, quote, experts have long been messing up paleomagnetic results, tossing out directions they didn't believe were possible, and therefore losing evidence of rapid secular variation. That other paper was right, and this guy is whining like someone who knows they are in a losing argument. Last but not least, Finally, a real look in forming models and stepping away from the easy cut-and-paste Maxwellian models allows them to spot reality, that electron precipitation and neutral mass density in the ionosphere during geomagnetic storms are far more variable than believed. Specifically, the electron bombardment of the atmosphere is a hundred to a thousand times greater than they believed. That's where the entire ionosphere gets its juice, and how such significant impacts can be made on the atmosphere below through the global electric circuit, changes in vertical electron content, ozone, and cloud chemistry. Imagine a space science geophysicist white gloves slapping the global warming crowd and challenging them to a duel. Right there. We greatly appreciate your support, including the super thanks. I'm super sorry, I didn't realize this was now a thing, and some of you I saw yesterday have been dropping donations almost every day. Whether you do it once or always or never, we appreciate all of you very much, except maybe the ones who don't watch the playlist. Just playing. But seriously, learn more with the playlist and resources below the video. Our books on climate and catastrophe are at otf.cells.com. We've got shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.